So, with the news of Cornell West running for president, let's talk about how who Cornell West really is, because I think there's just hella misconceptions around that, and I think if we just clarified who Cornell West really is and got to the bottom of it, then we would see how much of a clown and how much of a out of touch bougie academic he is and the fact that he's running for president but he should really just you know sit his old geriatric ass down and you know go into retirement or some shit because again he's an out of touch baby boomer academic at the end of the day um and that having an academic as president doesn't benefit working class people okay you know so the fact that um, Cornell West refers to Bernie as Brother Bernie, Brother Bernie. No, that's just bogus. Come on now. We know Bernie is a Zionist clown. Uh, Bernie lived on a kibbutz in 1953. Um, so the fact that Cornell West is referring to Bernie as Brother Bernie, right? That's just bullshit. That's Cornell West being a dumbass and being a clown and a clout chaser. Um, and then he calls Biden, Brother Biden, Brother Biden, right? That's again weasel words again um and then the fact that he's running with chris hedges um we're well, not running for president but he, you know he associates himself with chris hedges who's a vegan malthusian and uh has and chris hedges is anti-indigenous and um chris hedges promotes the vegan agenda which is anti-subsistence anti-indigenous um you know it's the type of shit that you'll hear in, in San Francisco. As much as I like San Francisco, the vegans ruined that city, right? And again, it's why I like Seattle. Uh, Seattle, San Francisco, minus the vegan bullshit, right? Um, you know, so, uh, and as, as someone whose family has largely worked in the fishing industry and the fur industry, and whose great grandpa farmed dairy goats in Massachusetts, because that's what my great grandpa did. He, in addition to being a teacher, he was a, a dairy goat farmer on my mom's side. Um, he was a dairy goat farmer and had a herd of son goats. Like so, the fact that um, Cornell West is associating with vegan Malthusian and and racist grifter, racist charlatan Chris Hedges, that is a red flag. Um, and then all the other bullshit about brother Bernie, brother Biden, right? And so using his little academic weasel words and trying to put a folksy veneer and saying using all like folk and shit like that that just the whole fucking facade i see right through it i see right through it you know what i mean it's like he's fucking he's he is uh what's his face he's like jermaine gresham i'm like uchenna nawosu you heard like i see through that shit right or like he's freaking Lionel Messi, I'm Casemiro. I see through that shit. You know what I mean? Like, um, that basic type of shit. You know. So, yeah, I, I see through his facade. I see through his facade. All his like weasel folksy trying to put on a folksy facade. Like all oh, these weasel words, brother Bernie, brother Biden, brother Chris Hedges, all that other type of shit. Also, um. He has, uh, Cornell West has a record of being an anti-communist. Uh, Cornell West has praised Ronald Reagan. Um, you know, he spreads all type of shit about the Russian empire. Russian empire, Russian empire. He sounds like a fucking puppet of Rachel Maddow, like a carbon copy of Rachel Maddow um, to a certain extent on Russia. Um, talking about the Russian empire, like, there is no Russian empire. Russia doesn't want an empire. In terms of China, he's just as bad. Cornel West, um, he talks about uh, the Uyghurs, uh, who are the Turkic Muslim group in northwestern China, out by Xinjiang, Urumqi area in China. Um, and they're largely funded by the U.S. and the Zionist entity and by Turkey. Um, and a lot of them were mercenaries in Syria. And Cornel West... Uh, runs cover for them and blames shit on Xi Jinping. Now, I'm no fan of Xi Jinping because he's a Zionist. Xi Jinping is a fucking blatant Zionist and a two-stater, but he's a little bit better than those fucking mercenaries from Urumqi and Xinjiang 
um, who are being funded by the U.S. and Turkey. I'd say that, you know what I mean? And also, I'm a big fan of China's weightlifting program, and I've incorporated some of their training methods into what I do, right? Um, so, yeah, his vilification of China, his bullshit talking points about the Russian Empire, uh, his association with Chris Hedges, who's a racist vegan Malthusian, uh, and it, Chris Hedges, quite frankly, is anti-indigenous and anti-subsistence. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, uh, Cornell West's, like, little shit words of, like, Brother Biden, Brother Bernie, Brother Chris Hedges, right? Um, just trying to be put on a little folksy facade. Um, folks, all this type of folk, right? <laughs> that's, that's typical fucking Cornell West tricks. Also, his association with the DSA. Now, history of the DSA. The DSA is not actually socialist. Uh, the DSA is a capitalist social democrat organization uh, that was founded by this deep state spook named Mike Harrington. Um, and Mike Harrington was a virulent Zionist, um, a virulent um, spook and op for the feds. So, sketchy guy, Cornel West joins, joined the organization of Mike Harrington called the DSA. And that's why you see his, um, his articles published in fucking Jacobin and The Intercept and shit like that. Instead of in, uh, you know, maybe a more left-leaning uh, publication. So, yeah. And then Cornell West has just been hella problematic. And then in terms of, like, academia, the, the article that he did with uh, Jared Ball. No, not Jared Ball. Jeremy Tate. All these fucking... The only Tate I like is Golden Tate, the former Seahawks wide receiver. Um, other than that, all the Tates suck, and they're a fucking bunch of losers and shit. Um, yeah, so another Tate, <laughs> Jeremy Tate. Um, so, yeah, so Cornell West did an article with Jeremy Tate and just basically fucking ran cover for all, um, Andrew, no, not for Andrew Jackson, for James Madison. They, they fucking ran cover for James Madison, um... And when, so who was a literal human trafficker and a racist and a slave owner and a Freemason. And when Jared Ball from Black Power Media questioned him about it, he just fucking made excuses. And I say, but, oh, but Dubois, Dubois is also there. Dubois is also there. It's like, I don't give a fuck if Dubois is there. Why the fuck are you mentioning W.E.B. Dubois in the same fucking sentence as James Madison? That doesn't make sense. So again, Cornell West is an op. Cornell West is probably... Uh, deep state spook of some sort uh, I wouldn't be surprised and in 20 years when we find that shit out I'm gonna be vindicated <laughs> right but you know Cornell West is hella sus and the fact that he even associated with the People's Party in the first place you know the fact that he's a bougie Harvard bougie geriatric Harvard academic that shit is sus like Cornell West needs to sit his old geriatric ass down and let the fucking young people leave let the people that are gonna be here in fucking 50 years motherfucking lead. Like, you know? Because, let's see, he's, he just turned 70. Cornell West just turned 70. So 50 years, he ain't gonna be here no more, right? 50 years, he's not gonna be on the earth no more, you know? 50 years, I'll, I'm 25. So in 50 years, I'll be 75, right? I'll still be here. Like, it's okay if old people advise, but to a certain extent, Right? Like all the wise Anas and Uppas uh, up north and shit, like those people. Or the wise abuelos and abuelas in places like Zaragoza or in Madrid or in Sevilla, whatever, you know? But not like bougie ass academics who work at fucking Harvard. If you're a bougie academic who works at Harvard, you need to sit down and let working class people lead. You know what I mean? So Cornell West does not work, he does not represent the working class interests and he does not represent my interests. Cornell, and he's also the fact that Cornell West wants to reach out to the MAGA crowd and the MAGA crowd are a bunch of fucking racists and they're a bunch of like degenerates, quite frankly. Um, and they're blatantly, the MAGA crowd is blatantly uh, anti-black and anti-indigenous and like to liberate the U.S. from capitalism, we have to liberate oppressed nationalities, oppressed nations, and the two most oppressed um, nations in the United States, at least here on the West Coast, are black people, Yupik people, literally. And after that, I'd probably say like Athabascan and then 
Inupiaq after that. Um, are the, those are the most oppressed nations. The two most oppressed nations in the United States are black people and Yupik people, you know? That's a fact, okay? Or well, just more broadly indigenous people, but if you look at the, the demographics, Yupik people, and specifically Yupik people from the YK Delta. Um, so, and those are, those are like facts that you can show on a map, like in terms of like poverty and shit like that. Wade Hampton, the Wade Hampton census area is one of the most impoverished areas, and that is a mainly Yupik area. So Cornell West, he serves the interests of Wall Street. He serves the interests of his, the bougie-ass academics at Harvard on all these fucking sock dems in fucking Fremont and in fucking Height Ashbury and shit like that. But, you know, and all the, the suburbanites in fucking Bellevue and, you know, suburbanites and whatever the suburbs of the Bay Area are, Antioch, whatever, um, you know, the, the suburbanites in San Mateo County and in, like, Palo Alto and shit. But he doesn't serve the urban working class and he doesn't serve the working class on the west coast it's quite obvious at this point that he's a shill and a fraud and that he's just running cover for the fucking ruling class so that's my opinion on cornell west um from a left-wing perspective so there you from a marxist perspective so there you go peace